you. Question from Matthew, then we'll come back. Sure, thanks a lot. Uh, Matthew Lee, Inner City Press. I, I wanted to actually, just as a follow-up on that, when you meet with, uh, with um, particularly those delegations that are responsible and vote on the sanctions, do you raise what you say are your concerns about that? And what do they, you know, can you give some sense of that? Also, last year when you were here, you said that taking Iran out of the SWIFT's payment system had had an effect. And I wanted to know, how, is that a targeted sanction, or does that impact, is that still in place? And, fi you know, the, 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 finally, I just wanted to, I don't know if you'll go, go for this, but in many people's minds, it, what's the connection, in your view, between human rights in Iran and the, whole, what, the P5 plus one uh, negotiations and the nuclear issue? Seems like in a lot of, certainly at the State Department, the questions get all bound together. Do you think if the negotiations were successful, some of these issues would be better off? Is there, what can you say about the, 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 the connection, not in your mandate, but in, in, in the real world? Thanks. Thank you. Yes, um, I have repeatedly uh, spoken about my concerns to those countries involved with the sanctions regime. Um, although I did this initially uh, when I first began observing about the impact of sanctions, and my communications to them were uh, of my concerns about the, um, uh, the level to which the exemptions were working. And I did note that actions taken by these governments trying to address these issues, including clarifying uh, to potential traders uh, what the routes were for them to uh, carry on uh, permitted uh, trade with Iran. So I think uh, those discussions were, were useful, and it was, of course, incumbent on me to raise the issues, and I'm happy that there was some follow-up to that. Uh, with regard to the, uh, the impact, uh, with regard to SWIFT, that wasn't a targeted sanction. That was, that was an, I think, an outcome of, of, the, of the general sanctions. I am not exactly sure what the current position is, but I have not received a report to say that they have put, put uh, Iran back on the system. But more generally on sanctions, um, I, have, I have found that uh, both in terms of coping strategies and both in terms of uh, giving out more information, things have improved uh, uh, in, in, in that regard. On the nuclear issues, um, the question was, what impact is this having on human rights? Um, I am reluctant to link human rights with, with any issue, because human rights deserve to be protected regardless of, of uh, developments elsewhere on our, other concerns. And linking can have consequences that are not necessarily beneficial for, him, for human rights. What I have noticed is that the, the nuclear discussions have opened up more communication channels with Iran, and therefore, in my view, greater potential to communicate interests on human rights through, the, through these channels. I don't see um, the nuclear issue actually, uh, if progress is made, undermining human rights, but there is, a, uh, there is a trend that when concern about nuclear issues ramp up, then it drowns out uh, concerns about human rights.